everyone and welcome to the Stock Swish Show Market Review. It's about 1.30 on Tuesday, May 27th and haven't done a market review for quite a while. It's good to take a break and actually give yourself a couple of days off sometimes around a holiday. Gives you a good perspective to come back fresh, relaxed and ready to go and see things clearly. And so I haven't really been looking at the market in the last few days, although the whole time that the market was coming in here back, gosh, for the last two months or so. I did say the market would make new highs. We're very close to doing that. And a lot of people thought this market topped out, that it did a double top, uh, that the market was extended, that the market was going to pull in, and all kinds of things. But the fact is that I kept calling the market higher. The market could have even come in and retested this area here. It didn't do it. And when this happened here, here this day here, when the market did this, I did not think that we were going to uh, break through this. The market flipped here in this day. I didn't think the market was going to break underneath here. Now, as it turns out, the market didn't even get anywhere near there gapped up then the following Monday, this is a Monday, followed through higher, came in, did a nice pullback. I mean, looking at this now, it's picture perfect. Although it really, to a lot of people, this seemed that this was the top. Remember, the market's in an uptrend. All it did was pull in. There was nothing wrong with this pulling whatsoever. There wasn't really any bearishness here for the long-term trend. There wasn't anything here that changed the overall trend. Actually, if you look at it now, it looks like a very slight pullback. Look at it. Even if you squish it together, you can see it. You can also see the market's not extended, and no one should have shorted this market. And people did, because the market made several lower highs in here and higher highs. I mean, a lower highs and lower lows. The market made several of those pivots in here. And so people started shorting this market. That combined with the double top, but the market should never have been shorted. The market was in an uptrend, and you don't pick tops, just like you don't pick bottoms. So the market is acting extremely bullish today, and extremely bullish the last few days of last week. And when I saw the gap up in the market this morning, I said, geez louise, you know, market on low volume around a holiday traded extremely bullishly on low volume. We still have low volume in the market today, by the way. This is low volume for the market. And it's a day after holiday today, so not everybody's back in the group and trading, but the fact that the market did all of this in a holiday week and that gapped up this morning, the day after a holiday, I can't tell you how bullish this is. This is very bullish, very bullish. Not just because it did it, but there's a gap up every day on low volume and the market's continuing higher on low volume and holding. I'm at, I mind you. I mean, even on top of that. So, market gapped up here, market gapped up here, market gapped up here. Okay? We're over everything we need to be over now. Um, and so, what's the next step? Well, target today is 91 if the market wants to break out, which would have to happen basically between 2 and 3 o'clock. And, and very well could happen. I mean, you can almost buy the market here in a breakout play. Uh, into the next number, which is 91 or 91.30 so something into the uh, close today. So the market's either going to close like this or something similar to it or break out and continue higher here into the afternoon. Anywhere between now and 3 o'clock, you can do it. So, and, and the earlier it happens, the bigger move it's going to be, you know, which means you could actually get over the high. But the market's setting up so bullishly here. And even this morning, I called the market long in here, but I said this is aggressive because I wasn't necessarily expecting the market to have this kind of large move immediately out of the gate today, and yet it did. I thought we might come in first and hold before we rally. I thought the body of today would be smaller than it is. I said small to medium size. This actually is medium size, but it never really went red. I thought we were going to go red a little first and then hold. We actually just held. Again, a very big sign of bullishness list and a nice gap in here and a great show of strength for the market. So when I saw this, though, the way that it was breaking out, when I called it as a breakout play before it broke out over the high, it was back here right between 940, 940, 945-ish. 
the one thing I was noticing when I saw this is going to break out in here was that shorts are going to give it up that did short of this market and that's what's going to hold this market and keep pushing it higher here now and again it just was never a short never 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 a short in fact I remember doing a webinar gosh I think it was in March yeah I think it was the end of March somewhere in here I did a webinar and I remember saying the market's higher the market's higher the market's higher I remember talking about it and then the market came in deeper but I, I, you know, the timing of these, you never know where the market's going to pull in. That's why you have to make sure that you play the trends right and actually play gaps correctly because gaps will tell you what to do and denote what to do. And so shorts are going to get pushed through this that will have to exit their short positions here, which will hold the market and make it go even higher. Plus the fact that market's getting bought and this wouldn't be happening anyways. And the market's getting bought in the bullish gap ups. Beautiful show of strength of the market. Nice little scoop that the market's making in here on the 8 and the 20 and the 50 per moving average and just holding beautifully. And look at this 200 per moving average here pointing sky high. Beautiful, beautiful market. So where do we go from here? One of two things is going to happen. It depends how we close today and also how we get tomorrow morning. Markets are either going to retest this area up here and not get over it, in which case people will short this even more, which is the wrong thing to do. But market will retest up here, knock it over it immediately, and then squiggle around a bit, and eventually we will get over it. Or market will just run right on through it. So it's one of those things. And I actually think that happens this week. So this week, well, it's a short week. We still have three more days left in the week. I think the market retests this area this week. It either blows right on through it or retests it, doesn't get over it immediately, squiggles around, and then eventually gets over it. The market will make a new high soon, sooner rather than later. And even if it retests it and squiggles around, I don't think the retest is going to last that long before it breaks over it because this is just too much strength. And I would be surprised if we just blew right over it. So it's one of these things where if you're looking to make money in the market, you have to understand how to read trends. You have to understand how to take positions. And you have to understand how to look at these things to read the overall timeline of it. The great thing about being a day trader is that I can make decisions in the live moment, what to do, reading the price, seeing what it is, and making the decision right there and doing it. But even if you're a swing trader or a core trader, if you see the market doing something, you can make a decision in lifetime what to do. You could take a trade on and you could take a trade off during the day. But what happens is that many people take bad trades and they do them in even overnights and then they get caught in a bad trade in a gap. Gaps that I play intraday on the day as day trades. So, you know, it's very important to understand how to read gaps for so many reasons, particularly to understand the overall trend and what's going on in the market or a stock. And one of the reasons I'm so successful at what I do is because I'm very, very good at reading trends in stocks. And that's one of the reasons I'm good at reading trends in the market and why I was able to predict that the market would do this and something so much more yet this year uh, that I knew the market was going to eventually break over this double top, double top and get over the high. And I was talking about it all in here. Just took a little while, but still doing it. And I did make note in some video I did a while ago that you know all of these strong stocks that have pulled in with the market are magnificent opportunities for buys. And some of them are setting up beautifully in the last few days. And still plenty of time to take them as core longs or, or swing trade longs, if that's what you like to do, if that's what you know how to do, to go long in the strong stocks that are in the market. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you'd like more information on how to read charts and how to read price action, email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. I'm doing the next Golden Gap class on June 7th and 8th. This is the last month that I will be doing the class at the current price. If you have been watching me and you're interested in learning how to trade gaps and want to start making money, then email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.